Last night we stopped in the Rudyard Hotel. So we're stood in front of the hotel. There's free car parking on the road. Or there's a car park just behind us. At the far side of the hotel. So we head forward towards the end of the road. At the end of the road we turn left. We've got the post box on our left hand side. We're walking downhill for a short way. As you walk downhill you've got the garage on the left. Look to your right hand side you've got the public footpath sign. As you go through the iron gate and head forward you'll be walking at the side of the tiny stream. You're walking with a taxi driver today. Walking round Rudyard Lake. It's the 31st of August. With a pair of long-horned cattle there, look. I don't know what sort. That's looking to the right-hand side. It's just a bit cloudy at the moment. We're hoping for some sunshine this afternoon. The path bears round to your left. We're heading towards the railway station. Or should I say miniature railway station. On our left hand side we've got fishing lakes there look. There's a heron just flew across before I could get my camera going. But uh, it's a beautiful place is this. We come to a gate in a stile. We turn left there. And make our way up the steps to the railway line. So we're on the top now. Let's just give you a shot to the other side of the bridge. Just a fair few cows there. And again, the lines you can see, it's either cut for hay, but I'd say it's probably silage at this time of year. And that's just another one to our right. We're turning left now, heading towards the station. Little dogs come to, little dogs come to see us off. It's only a tiny dog, they're noisiest, but lovely little dogs. He's telling us straight, he is. Well, we keep going. As we head towards the station on the railway line, that's looking to our left. We're looking down on the ponds now, on our left hand side. There are just a few dogs here, there's about four of them. It's full of beans. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. You're a good handful there. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, we've just got to the railway station at 5 to 11 and the first trains leave at 11 o'clock so let's let's go and have a look that's the Tobimori Stillman is that engine on our right just one or two people having a sandwich it's just a railway station in miniature it's brilliant and then well, he's got a bit of steam up, so let's get to front. We've only got about three minutes. Just building steam up, he's off any minute now. Just one or two getting on at last minute now. And the dog, by the yeah, little dog, he's getting on as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there he is. Yeah, he's all right. You can just see him there with his head stuck out of it. I dare say his door will close as they, as they get aboard. We're off.
That's it, now he's pulling away. He's <laughs> in the minutes anyway. Just one or two more. He's away now. No. the train now we'll be walking at the side of the track before we walk by the side of the track there's a plaque on our left showing you the walk so we're heading forwards now looks like we're in for a good day sun's trying to break through here it is at its first stop he's off we tried to go in front, but uh, just slightly behind. We'll see if we can catch it up again. This is six pounds for adults. It's great to see miniature steam trains, it is. And uh, there's a fair few people on it. The stop with the tiny train there was called the dam. And we're stood on the end of the dam. Seems to be a lot going on. So let's show you around. We can see a tree carved there. Look, with a man doing a balancing act. So let's get close up. And as we walk a bit closer to the tree, we've got a woodpecker there, look. And an owl. There he is, stood on top of a tree, and that's carved out of a stump of a tree. If we look to our left hand side, we've got toilets and that. And then there's a cafe, just at the other side. And it looks like you've got seats, and there seems to be plenty of people about. And that's looking up Rudyard Lake, it's beautiful. It's the first time we've been here, is this? And I can just see a boat here, look, with this little water in or something. Let's have a look. He's just sat there with a seagull. And at the other side, we've got three fishermen. Right, we're going to make our way back to the railway line now and keep heading forward. Rudyard Lake was built as a reservoir in the early 1800s to supply water to the West Midlands canal system. Soon afterwards, the railway arrived. It became a popular destination for day trippers, including a Mr. and Mrs. Kipling, who named their son after the place that they come to love. The beautiful setting and two and a half mile stretch of water continues to attract visitors, many drawn by the Modern facilities for boating, sailing, fishing, bird watching, and of course, walking. We're just at the side of the Lakeside Loop signal box. Let's show you the loop. That's so that the trains can pass each other on the single track. Just opposite the loop, we look to the other side. If you look to the left hand side of the boat, on the far shore, we can see a heron there, look. Can you hear these kids in out? Look at this. <laughs> they're only young uns, but they're doing a good job.
<laughs> the little train's on its way back now. He says, stop the train, I want to get on. You can see why the Kiplings love this place. They're the houses at the far side of the lake. And we'll show you a few more as we, as we walk forward. And as we look through the trees, we can see we have a house that's actually in the lake with a walkway that leads up to it. We've just got a tiny bit of rain. Let's hope it dries up, it doesn't look too bad. Still got a fair way to go. We just keep heading forward. You can see the tiny line on the right. At the other side, there's a load of boats parked up, but we're not that far from the end of the lake now and we'll be coming back down the other side. We're at the next stop now, Hunt House Wood, and another loop, and you've got some seats here, just at the end of the loop, if you're walking and it's raining, or if you're waiting for a train and it's raining, you've got a shelter there, look, with some seats. And when we look, that's the end. The train turns round, it'll take you back. You know, I dare say you've a few minutes to get your camera out and take a few shots. I think it's well worth six pound return. We keep going. We're just passing the Sea Scouts training area. We're heading forward now, dodging the showers. That's looking left over the lake. Well, sun's back out. We come to the bridge and bear off left. We're more or less going towards the end of the lake now. Just after the bridge, you've got a tiny car park on your right. We turn left there, crossing over a tiny bridge. As you walk forward, you'll pass a couple of old buildings on the right that don't look as if they've been lived in for a few years. We're making our way towards the other side now. Janice pointed out that we were at the other side, but we couldn't quite see the water. We can now. That's just to our left. We just follow the tarmac track for a short way. The tarmac track bears round to your right. As it starts to go uphill, you can see the post with the arrows. We turn left there, as we turn left, I just look back and see that little calf duck feeding. Well, he seems to be enjoying it. And the sun's coming out now again keeps going in, odd shower, and then it's all right. We keep going. We just keep heading forward, following the track across the front of the building. Before we go any further, let's just look back slightly and give you the view. And again, we turn round and head forward now. We're pretty sure that's deserted, but it's a beautiful house. That hasn't been lived in for a long while, we don't think. But there's a view from the front of the house. We just keep heading forward. Well, it looks as if we're going into the trees now. The sun's out. The scout hut's at the other side. We have a cracking view. 
so we decided to have a cup of tea it's a beautiful walk as you can see we're in the trees now we just keep heading forward that must be the clubhouse on your left we're just at Rudyard Sailing Club now if we look to the far side that's where the railway line ends the halt we showed you on our way up we keep going beautiful though we just keep heading forward we're not far off the information centre now as the road bears off right uphill we turn left there you can see the footpath sign as we head forward you've got a house on your right hand side at the caravan park we turn right slightly uphill we head forward passing the caravan park on our left we just keep heading forward across the back of the houses when you come to the first house on your right hand side if you look straight forward you've got a footpath sign we turn left there down towards the lake and then we bear right so we're back to the head of the lake now and the tourist information sun's out and just down below on the water's edge you've got a mother duck there look with eight tiny ducklings well I say tiny maybe about a month old so as you can see there's plenty of people about sun's come out we've finished our walk now we hope you've enjoyed it round Rudyard Lake and the railway you've been walking with a taxi driver today <laughs>